Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an error that says the operation failed, there's no adapters in the state permissible for this operation. So if you maybe have a static IP address and you're unable to connect to a network, this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve the issue without too much of a hassle. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in troubleshoot. Best manager should come back with Troubleshoot Network, or you can select Troubleshoot Settings, whichever you prefer. So I'm going to just select a Troubleshoot Network here. Now that you're on this page, underneath Change Your Network Settings, you want to left click on where it says Network Troubleshooter, Diagnose and Fix Network Problem. And you notice there will be a little dialog window that will open up here looking to uh, diagnose and resolve issues. So just give it a moment to run here. And then it might prompt you for asking what kind of network problems you're having. So if you're having problems accessing a specific website, just select whatever option best corresponds to your issue and then walk through the issue problem solver here and see if it would be able to resolve the problem. Hit enter or OK. And if it couldn't identify the problem, we're just going to click on close here. So hopefully we would have been able to address your problem by this point. If you're still experiencing an issue, what you can do now would be I would suggest restarting your computer. And then once you restart your computer, go back into this settings window that we were in. Same method we went through to get to the start menu and then typed in troubleshoot. We select the network troubleshoot, but you can select troubleshoot as well. And then you just would select network troubleshooting. So it would be one additional step if you selected the second option. And once you're on this page here, you want to go left click on network reset. So left click on that one time. Network reset, this will remove and then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Left click on the reset now button. It's going to ask you sure you want to reset your network settings. Left click on yes. And once that is done running, so it's going to prompt you to sign out. Was it just restarting your computer this time? Hopefully it's resolved the problem. If you are still experiencing an issue after restarting your device, what I would suggest would be to open up the start menu. Just off on the start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. And you want to just right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now into this elevate command line window, you want to go ahead and type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, and then another space catalog. So again, N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, space reset, space catalog. Hit enter on your keyboard. You will have to restart your computer to complete the reset. And then I would also suggest typing in N-E-T-S-H space INT space IP space reset. Hit enter on your keyboard. At this point, now that you've run both of those commands, restart your computer, hopefully it has resolved the problem. If you have an external 
network adapter hooked up to your computer, I would suggest unplugging it and plugging it back in. And if you have a router or modem, I would suggest turning off the power to it or just if there's a reset button you want to select it, let it restart, hopefully then it would have resolved the problem as well. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.